Hey guys, so thanks for playing here with the latest giant size papers. Number 10, the Phantom goes all medieval. It's got stuff like the Phantom Crusader, Red Archer, Sir Falcon, Sir Phantom of the Round Table. But that story is actually pretty damn uh, strange. It's strange. Let's get into it. If you is wanting these comics to reprint them, I'm guessing. Uh, Planet Man number five, Invisible Inve Avenger twenty four and twenty five, Jet Man one to four, contact Glenn at few o two nine two six one eight one two two. First story up is the Phantom Crusader coming home, written by Andrew Constant. And art by Jason Paulos. I like how they've put it in colour format this time. Because I'm pretty sure at the end of it. Yeah, yeah. At the end of it says. Stay tuned. More adventures of the Phantom Crusade coming up to the pages of the Phantom. So we're going to see more Phantom Crusade. Which is pretty good. This... So Falcon one actually comes, uh, it's like a, a, I thought it said somewhere. This story follows the events recorded in Giant Size Phantom 6. I'll get a photo for you soon. When it, and this, this, this comic, when the Sir Falcon one, Part 2, it only goes to part 2, but then I think it might go part 3 soonish next issue, which we didn't actually get a date for it, so yeah. And this one here, it's like, is this guy trying to be evil or is he trying to be a good guy? And well, in this last couple scenes he's not trying to be a good guy he's trying to be a, a mad evil lunatic we have sir falcon number three i'm pretty sure this comic this sir falcon one is it's always been good these sir falcon ones and giant size phantom in general have always been good just to put that out there to few, they've always been good. I, I enjoy them. And they're very intense and dramatic. But like, I think I like the new ones better than the old ones. I'm, I don't really know, but I think I like the new ones. Because so these old ones, uh, they're good. They're good. Put in the comment section if you like either like the new... Sir Falcon episodes by Shane Foley or the old ones by I think Peter Chaplin. There's a bit of advertising for Phantom Ranger. Now this one, this one, Phantom of the Round Table, something like that, is a very strange story. Like when I was reading it, it turn it, it looks like a normal phantom story. I'm I'm just getting to that. It looks like a normal phantom story, but when you get into it, it's like it's a bit strange. I I am thinking. Because it goes off to obviously in medieval times because that's when this whole book is based in on the Phantom, on this comic it is. And this guy is actually Merlin um, from King Arthur's court is very, very strange, I thought. And so, he, the Phantom, or Phantom Knight, as they call it, destroys this evil witch, and then he gets to go in and see, hold your applause, he gets to see King Arthur and the Round Table. He like he gets to join them. I'll, I'll show you the picture. He gets to join them for being just all around good bloke. That's what I'm gonna put out. All around good bloke. 
because that's what the Phantom is, and he's a good, good person, um, good person fighting evil, that's all it is. So, the definitive book in Australian comic history, now available from few publications, I'll pr try and find a photo of this, and I'm thinking I might buy this, but it won't come on this channel for probably a couple of months, because don't have that much money right now. $70 plus postage at phantomcomic.com.au or phone 0292618122. Okay, this this story, it's a Charlton story. I follow them on Instagram, I'm pretty sure. And I used to follow them on Facebook. I am on Facebook. It's at Phantom Cave. I've got a page. And this this one, although I haven't talked about much it, but it basically follows up from the events from the Singh Brotherhood and the, that hopefully they learn their lesson, especially this guy. Gem Comics. I actually I liked the Red Archer. It's to me gets my like fluids going. Not not inappropriately, but it, like it has a good story and a good art to it. Good art. Very 50s or 40s art, something like that. And again, it's um, done by Perry Chapman, which he he's pretty good. He, he passed away, I think, a couple of years. Uh, 2016, I'm pretty sure. I think. I'll get a picture of that. Like, the Red Archer, he just... He... Sh her she helps like the defenseless and the people that don't have that much to the people that are rich people and think they can rule the world. Well, that's what they are in these comics. So trading cards out right now, 100 cards set plus 6 level 3 chase cards, 3 level 2 chase cards, and 1 special level 1 Slyberry chase card plus collector's binder. So, I found out, I think it was last week I did a video on this, and this ad was in it. So, they should be at your news agency by now, if not, they, if they haven't sent them back already, if they haven't been making any money from it, um, they're at comic shop, you like a comic shop, I don't, me, where I live, on a local town, I don't have a comic shop near me, so I go to my news agency to get these Phantom Comics. And you can also get them from phantomcomic.com.au or phone, again, 0292618122. Uh, we've got an ad out now, $20 plus postage, Fuse first ever graphic novel. I've actually got this, I did a review, I'll put a link or I'll put it at the end of the video, the um, link to this video. Uh, it's number one, a news story with glossy cover, 92 full colour pages, sort of colour It's done artwork by, I can't, car, guy, I can't say. You can get it at your local comic book shop or at phantomcomic.com.au or phone 0292618122 and we have another ad so missing these in your collection well few have done replicas of these rare 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 rare, rare very rare free comics in one big whole hardcover of the 1956 Phantom Adventures, now worth hundreds of dollars. If you can find them, well, good luck. Um, a few legacy series, uh, it's $20 from a selected retail store or online at phantomcomic.com.au, and they also have a 60 by 108 centimeter door poster of amazing Chris Wall cover art which is the same one that's on there, and I'd like to point this out, that there and the writing, 
the lettering I think is well that pink stuff is felt but that stuff there and the embossing stuff is actually embossing so I actually started campaign cam, campaign on the uh, near the 16th of August um, we need to get to a thousand subscribers so that we can produce more better quality content for you and to we need to get to a thousand subscribers by August the 16th 2020 so if we can get there we will I think we're on a good track record for it and we'll 